How is it going everyone? I hope you're all enjoying your day today and welcome back to yet another video on the channel. Now, as you can see in today's title and thumbnail, today I have a very interesting video for you all that I have prepared, and it is the idea of Jonathan Taves getting traded from the Chicago Blackhawks. And we've seen Jonathan Taves in a Chicago Blackhawks uniform for his entire career, so could we finally see a change up this coming off season or a bit into this coming NHL season? We're gonna be going over why I feel this trade could be a possibility possibility and where I feel the possible destinations could be for a possible Jonathan Taves trade. Anyways, before we get into the video, make sure to like, subscribe, do all of that stuff. I'm sorry, uploads have been a little bit slow. Again, school has been quite a bit of a, uh, a busy streak uh, as of the past couple of weeks, so I apologize for that, but I will start getting back on the grind as soon as I can. And if you guys are excited with this video, make sure to subscribe as well. We are on the road to 4,000 subscribers so i really appreciate if you hit that button and without further ado let's get right into the video now recently the chicago blackhawks have actually announced that they've been rebuilding and you can't really rebuild when your roster consists of players such as jonathan taves and patrick kane and the latest NHL trade rumors suggest that Taves in particular isn't overly happy about the Hawks rebuilding. And Taves didn't sound too happy in a recent interview with Mark Lazarus of The Athletic when I quote him when he said, I've never been told that we're going through a rebuild. That has never been communicated to me for that matter. Though general manager Stan Bowman has met with his veterans and reportedly got them on board, it wouldn't be surprising if Taves didn't want to stick around for a rebuild, and as I said earlier, it makes no sense to rebuild with Taves and Kane on the roster. The tricky part is that Taves has a full no movement clause. In short, he's not going anywhere unless he wants to be traded or made available for the 2021 NHL expansion draft. Also, Taves has a $10.5 million cap hit, which isn't exactly ideal for most NHL teams that would look to get a guy like Jonathan Taves. And keep in mind, a lot of teams are struggling to stay under the cap, which is flat this year due to the coronavirus. Now, this means that the Blackhawks will probably have to retain some salary to trade Taves, but that's fine because once they trade him, their true rebuild can officially get underway. And it's not likely that the Blackhawks will trade Taves, but if they do, these three teams will probably make the most sense. Now, starting off this list, I have the team that is the title and thumbnail of this video, the Columbus Blue Jackets. And are they a contender? Yes. Could they use another center? Yes. Are they a team that values veteran leadership? Of course. The Columbus Blue Jackets would make quite a bit of sense for Taves. They have $12.9 million in cap space after trying to sign Taylor Hall, but ultimately fell a bit short. And although the Blue Jackets still have to sign Pierre-Luc Dubois, the Blackhawks could retain 50% in a trade involving a first-round pick, one of the Blue Jackets' young goalies, and a another pick or prospect. It would honestly make a lot of sense for both sides as the Blackhawks have just lost Corey Crawford to the New Jersey Devils. They lost Robin Leonard earlier that year or in the uh, trade deadline. Honestly, if they got a guy like Merzlikens or Corpusala, that would work really well for them. And honestly, the Blue Jackets were really looking to get another forward to acquire. So if they acquire Taves, that would work a lot in their favor for their push this season. So honestly, the Blue Jackets could be a very good contender. Blue Jackets fans, let me know what you think of Jonathan Taves possibly coming to the Chicago Blackhawks. If this were to happen, how would you guys feel about this with his massive cap hit? Now, the second team on this list is the Winnipeg Jets, and since Taves is originally from Winnipeg, it's reasonable to think that he would accept a trade to the Jets. The Winnipeg Jets need a second-line center very bad, with Brian Little likely out long-term thanks to a weird ear injury. And thanks to their cap situation, Little would probably be having to head back to the Blackhawks, but he'd likely be on the LTIR anyway, which wouldn't really affect them. The Blackhawks would have to retain a bit of Taves' salary, but the Jets have some fascinating prospects they need to offer, maybe a guy like Sammy Nee or Kristen Veselainen along with a first round pick, it would honestly be a very good trade for both sides and could honestly work out very well for the Blackhawks despite having to give up a guy like Jonathan Taves. It would work really well in their favor to get young players for their rebuild. Now for the third and final team that I have on this list, although it's a little bit of a stretch, I have the Calgary Flames. And the Flames could still be looking to shake up their roster a little bit after a disappointing playoff exit. Caves would give them an impressive playoff depth on the middle. With Monaghan, Backlund, and Caves as center options, few teams would be able to beat them at the center depth. And honestly, I feel like if the Flames were to pull this off, they would be one of the most dangerous teams in the league next year. They made a ton of moves this coming offseason, or this past offseason, sorry, 
acquiring basically the entire Vancouver Canucks team uh, with the likes of guys such as Jacob Markstrom, Chris Tanev, Os- uh, not Oscar Vandenberg, uh, what's his name, Louis Domingue, and Josh Levo. Uh, they might as well take our whole team at this point, but if they were to, to pull off a, uh, a bargain which they got Taves at about a 50% uh, cap rate where they got rid of maybe a first-round pick or something like that, that would work really well in their favor and they would look very, very deadly next season. Anyways, with that being said, I think it's time to finally wrap up this video after going over the three teams. Which team do you think would be the best fit for a guy like Jonathan Taves in a trade? That is the question of the day. I would love to hear your opinions in the comment section below. Whether or not you think Taves will actually be traded in this coming season with the likes of the Chicago Blackhawks likely starting their rebuild. And yeah, just let me know what you think about this whole situation, Blackhawks fans. Blue Jackets fans, Flames fans, and Jets fans, and just any fan uh, in the NHL in general. Let me know what you guys all think. I would love to hear all of your opinions in the comment section below. Make sure to like, subscribe, do all of that stuff. Thank you guys all so much for the ongoing support on recent videos. It is very mind-boggling that we started from zero and we're already here at this awesome fan base. And I just want to keep going up, guys. So thank you guys so much for all the recent support. Uh, I really appreciate it. And uh, I'll be sure to catch you guys all in the next video. So yeah, see ya.